Hi Taurus, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, this reading resonates. Personal readings, that information will be in the description box beneath this video. I definitely appreciate all the donations, all the love and support to this channel. With that being said, let's see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Taurus at this time? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. So you guys are definitely practicing self-love. And the thing is, is like the love that you're giving to yourself has raised your standards here and you're no longer willing to tolerate things that you tolerated in the past. You're no longer, you're not even attracted to the same sort of energy that you were attracted to in the past. Someone feels like no one could make them feel the way you made them feel. And they're going to be coming towards you wanting your forgiveness here in the near future. No one is able to satisfy them the way that you satisfy them. Action. I'm getting that you guys are like waiting to see who takes action. Action speaks louder than words. You're no longer falling for um, like flirting or just the basic stuff here anymore. It's like, no, I want to see who's going to put in that work or else I'm not doing anything. You no longer trust someone. You're releasing someone that you don't trust. And you're attracting someone that's very responsible and you respect this person as well. Someone will be taking action towards you. You're attracting someone that is action oriented here. tension between you and them. This person thinks that you're very intelligent. They haven't... Did y'all meet this person while they were in a relationship? And they're no longer in a relationship? They're wondering if they have a chance to be with you. This person thinks that you're very intelligent. They have a secret crush on you. They miss seeing you, so you guys must be at a distance somehow. Or you guys could have saw this person on a like routine basis, but you don't see them on a routine basis. So you probably worked with this person or you guys live in the same neighborhood here. They're not understanding like why you left. They feel so drawn towards you. And this person, they're not going to disappoint you like you've been disappointed in the past. It's like you guys could know who this, because it's like when you met this person, they was in a relationship. And for whatever reason, they're not in a relationship anymore. And they felt very attracted to you. 
or they're wanting a committed relationship. They definitely want a committed relationship with you. They didn't have to be in a relationship, but some of you guys, like your person was in a relationship when you guys initially met. And so you kept it casual with this person. And then they're not in a relationship anymore. They couldn't resist like the way they felt about you. And they won't disappoint you. But they love how you're able to like take charge over situations here. Like you're very confident. And they feel like they can have great conversations with you as well. Someone here is, did your person actually lose someone? Did they actually lose a spouse? This just popped up for someone else. Did your person actually lose a spouse here? But this person is going to offer you a lot of stability here. Someone is dealing with some sort of emotional loss or they're grieving the loss of you, meaning the fact that you no longer see this person on a routine basis. You guys are going from like struggling to being very prosperous, building a firm foundation with this person building a legacy with this person. You're going to be celebrating that you took this leap of faith to be with this person. You overcame some major obstacles. Why is there someone, some of y'all could end up having a child with this person. Someone from the past is gonna be very jealous when they find out because there's a strong sense of you needing to resist someone that's very tempting they're very tempting towards you or there's gonna be like one last temptation here that you're going to overcome and you're gonna be very happy that you did because the person that you're gonna end up being with is gonna make you very happy and you're gonna build like a wonderful life with this person. Someone is just like, it's almost like they're mourning the loss of you. Like you moved away, you went to a different job. They can't see you as much as they used to. And it's like during this time of separation, this person realized how much you meant to them and they're wanting to offer you stability, a stable life. they had you cornered. Ooh. So it's a sense of like someone coming in to rescue you or someone is coming to your defense here. 
There's good news hidden in your direction. There's something that's going to make you very happy. It's like this person coming in right when you need them. Because there's a sense of like someone trying to trap you in a bad situation and they really get a kick out of doing this to you. Or there's some sort of deceit here and someone is it's like a really narcissistic type of energy. And this person really enjoys what they're doing. And they think they're going to get away with it. Some of you guys could have like a fire sign, but it's like, some of you guys could have had someone, yeah, there's, okay. Ooh, what the hell is going on, Taurus? So there's a sense of your overall energy is the three of swords here. So there's like a lot of pain and heartache in a particular situation. Now with the seven of swords and the knight of wands, this is good news coming your way after some like the seafood being like and some of the seafood energy here. Because I'm seeing, really what I'm seeing is like you taking a stand for yourself. Like you standing up. If it's like someone tries to make you feel like insecure about yourself, they really got a kick out of it. And this person has like two different personalities because they really thought they were going to get away with this. The thing is, this person really sees like your true potential. Like they see, there's a sense like someone trying to make you feel like inadequate, like you're not beautiful or you're not handsome, you're not good looking here. Like they try to play on your insecurities. And, but the thing is, is like, they were just lying to themselves. They were trying to push their own insecurities off on you. And it's like this person is watching you charge ahead and like charging right through like the lies and the deceits, the lies that they told you about yourself because it's like, you know who you truly are. Um, you value yourself. So their opinion doesn't even matter. And you're charging right ahead. You're charging straight towards this person too. And they're scared as hell. They're scared because there's a lot of fire energy within your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with Taurus placements or you have those placements within your chart. But you're very brave here. There's this confidence that you are exerting and it's very intimidating to this person that really got a kick out of like being deceitful towards you and doing things to bring you harm, whether it was just emotionally, mentally, physically, and they thought they were gonna get away with it. But you have good news coming your way. It's almost like a sense like this person, they could just been like kind of lurking, wanting to hear, you know, bad things happening to you. Uh, they wanted to, but it's like, they're watching you, they're here instead of like, they're, they're praying for your downfall here. Um, but instead they keep hearing good news about you. Like they keep hearing like good things happening in your life. The thing is there's someone that's watching you. Um, and it's not, not this person. There's someone that is in love with you and they're saying that you are dealing with a lot of pain on your own. Like they see that you have dealt with a lot of betrayal and it's like they've watched you dealing with this and they want to be there by your side. They want to be there for you, but they just don't know how to express that to you. They don't know how to because 
they don't feel like you have established that sort of a uh, relationship where they can tell you that they want to be there for you. It's, it's like they're too shy to open up and express that to you. You're releasing fear to head towards something new, something unknown that is leading towards a completely different phase in your life. Uh, it's a completely new beginning. Uh, you are releasing fears. You're leaving fears in the past in order to embrace this new beginning. You're also standing your ground and you're taking this very logical and practical approach. There looks like there's been like a falling out. Some of you guys like there could be three sisters here or it's just friends, but it's like there is, you're not talking to these people anymore. You have withdrawn your energy. You feel like you've seen all that you need to see. There's been a lot of betrayal because this, the three of cups in reverses, be mindful of the company that you keep. And I'm getting that you've had to embrace, like if you're a woman, you have to embrace like this masculine energy in order to defend yourself. But you're not, it's like you're very feminine, but it's like you've had to come on like very strong, come across very strong in order to protect your energy because you realize there's some, because there's some women here that were trying to sabotage you here. Now they could be family, they could be friends, but there is definitely some sort of betrayal. Some people here, it's, it's several people here did not want to see you become successful. But you, re, you put your fears aside with a nine of swords in reverse. You put your fears aside and you left it in the past to go towards a new beginning and it's a whole new world for you. So you find yourself in a completely different place or you're about to because you're exploring something completely new to you. Someone definitely feels cut off from you. It's hard for this person to manage life without you as well. Now, the crazy part is like from their perspective, you're the one who, um, you're the shady one. You're the one who betrayed them. But this person definitely is feeling the effects of being cut off from your energy here or being cut off from you. If they aren't right now, they will shortly. Because I'm seeing a lot of success. You guys becoming very successful here. And whoever you have cut off, they will, this is really affecting them or it will be affecting them. And this is a woman. Because there's a sense of someone trying, like, they don't quite understand why you cut them off. And you're like, are you serious? Did you forget what you did? Because there's a strong sense with the King of Swords here and the Three of Cups in reverse. Like, look at how they're looking at these Three of Cups in reverse. Like, there is betrayal here and it's serious to this person. Like, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm done. And even though it may be painful, you do have, yeah, it's painful and shocking to some people how you have withdrawn your energy. But you're also attracting um, a relationship that's about to make you very happy. Something that you thought was over is not over. And it's bringing in a lot of happiness into your life. This is the connection that you have fought for to be with some king of coins here. Someone that is very successful. They're very grounded. Um, they're willing to sacrifice and give their all for this connection as well. They're very loving, nurturing, and providing. They're going to bring a lot of stability into your life. And you may not see this now, but you're about to. 
But I'm getting this as someone that you already know with the death being in reverse. You just may not be aware of how this person truly feels because I'm definitely getting someone that is seeing you or they did see you go through some sort of painful cycle here regarding having to release some people that did not want to see you win in life. They wanted to see you stuck and miserable and you cut them off. You're no longer communicating with these people here because you feel hurt and betrayed by them. And you had to do what was best for you. But someone is definitely, it's like, they're feeling the effects of being cut off from your energy here. They feel like it's hard for them to manage life without you being a part of their life. But at the same point, you feel the need to protect your energy. It's like, why should I be, why should I communicate with you? Why should I be a part of your life that benefits you? But it's torturous to me. That doesn't make sense. Like you want me to be a part of your life so you can beat me down and you can drain my energy and do what's best for you and watch me suffer. You don't want to see me successful. You want to rob me of my energy. That don't make sense. I'll feel you on that one. You guys are about to be celebrating a connection here. Someone that's bringing a lot of balance into your life. A lot of peace and harmony here. Someone is spying on you. And they're dreaming about you as well. Now, this is someone you're about to have a new beginning with. You're about to um, set out on a new adventure with this person. This is going to be completely new for you and this person. And neither one of you truly see where this is heading. But you guys have a good feeling about this connection. Um... You're going from being like successful, independent, um, independent and on your own. So you guys are living on your own and then you're about to walk into this connection with this King of Cups here. So there's someone that has a lot of love for you. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong Scorpio here. Um, your head is straight towards this person. And they're coming straight towards you. See, you're a very grounded individual and you're you're okay with being on your own, but you do want a relationship. This person does not want to be on their own. They want a relationship. They're looking for someone just like you to be in their life. They they're they're a lover and they want love. They, they could be like witty as well, um, have like a witty sense of humor, very intelligent. They have like a, it's like a young energy about them. Why has the will of fortune so a lot of happiness being restored in your life. It's like going through a cycle where it felt like things like were working against you instead of working for you. And it's like now your luck is changing for the better. The Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups here. I'm getting that... You're going to end up being very happy. But with the four of pentacles here, you're, there's a sense of you're holding on to something that makes you very happy. Someone that makes you very happy. Someone. 
someone sees you as the person that makes them truly happy and they're holding on to this connection. They're not going to let you go. You two are going to end up being very happy together, feeling emotionally fulfilled. Going from withholding your energy to opening up and allowing this love in and it makes you emotionally fulfilled, like truly happy. Let me clarify this ending real quick. Let me keep out the word fortune though. Give me um help me to understand the four of pentacles. Like this holding on to something that makes you really happy, but why is this? works. You're holding on to something that works. You could have worked with this person. It's like after the pain and the heartache, someone realizes that the love is still there and it's worth holding on to because it makes you truly happy. So someone is going to be, it's like you two are coming together and working on this connection. So you guys will be overcoming a difficult period here. It's like after a time of like, it's almost a sense like you could have grieved the loss of this relationship. Or it's like after a difficult period, you guys are, it's like realizing there is still love there. It's not gone. So you could have like let each other go. You both grieved the loss of this connection, the loss of this relationship, only to realize that there is still love there. You're both still in love with each other and you're both holding on to this connection because you truly make each other happy and you're both willing to work on this. You wanna take time to get to know each other better. So that's what I'm getting. Um, this is the message that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.